Hello and welcome to Gulag. I'm really excited to share this island with you because there's so much terraforming. It is absolutely amazing. I couldn't get over how wonderful this island is. You can already see a bunch of beautiful pathing done. This is his island. So the first house we're going to pass by is Tia's house. And Tia's got these wonderful cakes. It's a cafe and bakery area. And he actually used some of the lost items from the animals and he just kept them. It's very pretty. Sort of like an extension of the cafe. See the little teacups? Alright, so now we're gonna head over to Anka's area. You can see he's used the Lily of the Valleys. a nice little path right here. This area looks so cool. Alright, so this is the Egyptian area. You can see I love taking photos here. It's just so beautiful. I really like all the tiny little lighting fixtures in this area. The way he separated the island, he wanted to make sure that every area felt personal to the villager who lived there. Each of his seven villagers have different themed areas, including their favorite song and a zodiac item to match their birthday. So this is Anka's house on the other side of the Nile. It is so cute. Anka has a Virgo harp and has the Marine Song 2001. Because her main flower is the purple hyacinth, he likes to leave the purple hyacinth over by her golden casket. And next we have this beautiful beach art walk area. To fill up this little rock area, he decided to put his Stonehenge rocks over here. It's very neat. And we have this nice little music deck area by the waterfalls in the back. He's really into music, so he just put a bunch of different musical instruments here. Now up next we're going to be going by Whitney's Ice Palace. And Whitney goes ice fishing from her ice palace, and her main flower is the blue rose. It's very blue. This is totally my aesthetic right here. I really like the Nova lights. And this ice palace just extends all the way across. It's absolutely stunning.
So over here is Bianca's house, which is actually just a pink castle. He thinks Bianca's probably royalty, so she has a Sagittarius arrow by her house and her main flower is the pink rose. Now the next area is the volcanic area. And over here he has the fossils on the first elevation, so it looks like the fossils are popping out. It's also just really cool to have them surrounded by fire. And it's a really nice touch having the floral lamps as well. Towards the back is Zucker's house, so according to him, he made Zucker this archaeologist. He has Pisces lamps, and he lives in a volcano. How cool is that? Alright, next up we're gonna go to the first house. So right outside of his house he has all the stars and moons. It's a really nice area. Now that we're in his house, we can see that he really likes keeping statues, and I really like the bookshelves. The library wall by itself can be very dark, but the actual bookshelves themselves are very colorful. Alright, it's gonna happen really soon. All the clocks are going off and the fountain area is going up. It's just really nice to see everything in sync. And he wanted to make sure he had a range of different clocks. It's really cool. This has taken so long to get all the clocks. It wraps all the way around. It's really nice. Over here is this nice little star area with the white instruments again. This music's so pretty. I really like how beautiful all the music is in this game. So now that we've left his house, we're on our way to Meringue's house. And Meringue is a pianist, and the island will be playing KK Strolling by her house. And she has a Pisces lamp. Her main flower is a pink Pisces, so you can see that's where we were going through the pink hopping path. And now we're by Raymond's house. Raymond has KK cruising and he is a painter. The flower is a black lily. By the pagodas. And this is just a really nice area all around. You can see he really utilizes terraforming to the max. We're making our way to his second house now. Celeste is here. You can hear his chant theme. Oh my goodness, I can't really figure out what song this is. This is kind of cool. He has his little 
cemetery over here and he has all the pictures of the ones that have left his island. So it's like they're parting words. It's supposed to be a little spooky. So it kind of goes well with their tombstone. It's really cool how he has so many levels in this island. Organ in the back. More blue flowers. Yeah, I like this heart shaped pond. Nice area right by this house. Alright, so we're going into the funeral home. Ooh, spooky. <laughs> so, this is an area where you can pick up your own tombstone, and it's like the little shop area <laughs> right before. So how do you want to remember yourself? It's like your final resting spot. KK Dirge again. Alright, so... Oh. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so this is where the dead bodies go. And there's a freezer in the back. All the skeletons and the shower is going because you have to clean up the body. It's kind of interesting he the way he uses the bank shutter wall. It's like where you store the bodies at the morgue. So as we're upstairs, we can see this is the final resting place. It's very peaceful. It's supposed to look like, I guess, heaven. And all of the past villagers are up there. back of his island. <laughs> oh, he blinked. <laughs> Aww. Yeah, I really like these rainbow pad thing. Rainbows. It's very symmetrical. This is one of his favorite parts of his island. You can see he utilizes the different levels of terraforming. Kind of similar to the volcano area. We have King Kamehameha under there. It's like a lot of work. Statues really well. I really like the moon too. It almost feels like a dream.
Red's here. Wow, I'm in for a real treat today. Alright, so now we're approaching the gulag area of his island. So he really wanted to have this whole jail cell area. Poor Shari, Sky, and Jakey live in the gulag. This music works so well. There's so many different things to see in this. This is really nice. We're going to head back to the bulletin board. what they wrote on the bulletin board. I'm gonna leave message too. If you like this video, please like and subscribe for more Animal Crossing content. I also plan on making other gaming videos as well, so I'll see you again real soon. Bye!